just got a new battery because the old one is uh, completely down. It's a 110 ampere battery, just a normal standard battery. I have a new battery, it is working great. I'm really happy, everything works fine, cool. I just started my way in the direction of Valencia. Running under uh, full sails, close hold. 130 miles to go, it was feeling great. Right now I'm on preparing for the night. I will sleep here a bit. Always like 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe 20. The sun disappeared behind the horizon and I was alone in the dark. It's half past one in the night. Try to catch some sleep now. I have this kitchen clock. I set it on 20 minutes. They're fantastic news, the wind picked up. We are doing now six to seven knots. It's fantastic sailing like this. Racing in the darkness. The night was not that difficult. Now in the morning, we have a bit more wind. This morning the ocean is a bit boiling because of some leftover uh, waves and some new wind waves. There are two wave systems against each other. I'm trying to make myself a coffee, but it's really not that easy at the moment. I better stay inside. I cannot see this mess anymore. All these huge waves and... Oh, better to be here. At least we are sailing. And we are getting closer to Valencia. I hope uh, the wind and the sea state will calm down. The wind calmed down. And also the ocean. Three more hours, then I'm in Valencia. I'm on the last miles to Valencia. The wind calmed down completely. I'm in the marina of Valencia. Took me 22 hours. It was around 130 miles. I did it. Just checked out. Okay, I'm on the way again. After eight days, finally leaving Valencia.
the halyard of the Genoa broke. So I definitely have to go into the next port. Because of the broken halyard, I stopped for one night in Denia. I'm ready to go up into the mast. I have to fix the, the halyard of the Genoa. I just untied the lines from Denia. Nicole left Switzerland today. She's on the way to catch the plane. And I'm on the way too. I try to be in Carponeras tomorrow. I don't know if it works out. For the next uh, three hours I will have headwind. But then if I'm lucky, I will have wind from, from the side or even from behind me. be on an ocean with a kayak I mean even with my boat it's quite bumpy and you know starting to get wet but this is insane no <laughs> I changed my tactics to sail uh, close to the coast seems to be a bad idea I always have the wind from the front I think it's caused by the coastal effects now I tacked and I go directly out of the ocean and I hope the, the wind angle will be better and I can tack again and go in the direction I want. I will lose another hour like this. The waves are hitting quite hard so I will slow down the boat a little bit. Uh, I will uh, put the hydro generator into the water. It will slow the boat down like half of a knot, which will be a bit more comfortable and I can recharge my battery. It hasn't really slowed us down, but anyway, producing some energy. From the wind speed I could I could go faster but with these waves it wouldn't be good for the boat so I I prefer to drive slow. I would like to use the boat for the next couple of months and not destroy it now. I just heard a uh, clack 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 all the time and now found out some screws are not uh, fixed anymore. I have to Bring that in order. The day ended with a very spectacular sunset. The night was very calm without any wind. Here comes the sun. The next day was very challenging for me. There was about 15 knots of wind speed, but the waves were growing bigger and bigger. Looking around, I made a very strange observation. I cannot believe it, but there is a submarine in front of me. Huh. Unfortunately, I didn't find out more about this strange encounter. And soon the submarine disappeared in the wide ocean. There is a dolphin in front of my boat. But 
this point, the waves were starting to scare me. But there was no other way as to continue. I was miles away from the coast and I had to continue to Carponeras. I was getting tired and I was really looking forward to see my girlfriend Nicole. Quite windy, some waves. I run out of fuel. I, s I only have a small um, backup for the port. Because of little wind, but still some big waves, motor sailing was the best option. But I run out of fuel. It will take me a bit longer to go there. What an epic journey! I have almost no. Uh, fuel anymore but now in the evening I have some wind the waves are a bit better now I'm doing around four knots three knots yeah heading into Carponeras we we'll maybe arrive in the in the dark there but what else okay now it looks good I still have I think two or even three liters of fuel and I'm sailing at the moment with five knots, very good wind. So I will sail in front of the port, take the sails down and then go into the boat with the engine. I'll be on the safe side, I will have enough fuel. Also the waves are not that big anymore, no breaking waves. Yeah. will take an end. What comes next? I'm not longer alone on board. I have company. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching guys. Please subscribe to our channel. If you liked the video, give it a thumb up. See you soon.